on something like that. No, we, as Mormons, we, or Latter-day Saints, we believe in the Bible just like normal Christians do. And in Genesis, it says that God created the world in seven days. And that's what, that's what we believe. God created the world and everything that is in there are. Oh, cool. Because I actually believe uh, uh, that uh, that God created the the Earth as well, mm -hmm. and that uh, I think part of uh, the big deception here is that uh, is to tell people that uh, you were created by a big bang and it was just lucky, and then like uh, all these little creatures uh, on the on the Earth just one day started turning into different things, and then one day a monkey turned into a human. And uh, I have a problem with that, and uh, they're teaching that in schools, and I feel like uh, like uh, this is wrong. And uh, so, as far as uh, so, I'm actually in agreement with you guys there. And so, what I want to touch on with the Bible is, uh, and uh, I just just want to show I'm talking to some uh, some Mormons here. Um, anyway, and I'm not going to embarrass you. This is going to blow your guys' mind. I actually think that uh, that the Earth. Is, is flat and motionless and as crazy as that sounds hey. the Bible says that the earth is set upon its foundation so that it cannot be moved and I also when I look at water I don't see it curving and I don't feel the earth spinning I say the satanic deception is that you're on the spinning ball out in outer space because that goes along with the with the Big Bang, the lucky Big Bang and the evolution. God creates a flat, motionless earth just as we all see and experience, right? But I bet you guys never thought to believe that what you're standing on is flat, motionless, and that there's possibly a firmament over your head, just like the Bible says. Maybe. Have you ever thought that? Have you guys ever stopped to think the earth is flat and motionless? No. Have you ever heard of that? Anyone believing that today? Not really. So as religious people, and if you think the earth is created, I implore you to look into the fact that the earth is not a ball in outer space. Because a ball in outer space goes along with bang! A complete bang! You guys know how the, or they say the earth was created by a big bang? All this material coalesced together because of gravity, and we got stuck right next to the sun, right in the perfect zone. What if I told you that sun right up there is close by? not far away that it's right there doesn't it look like it's pretty close yes what if god put the sun right there perfectly over the earth and the earth is bigger than the sun flat motionless and there's the tiny sun that goes over us every day Maybe. just like the tiny moon that appears to be about the same size as that thing now they want you to believe people walked on the moon it's the same size as the sun. Isn't that crazy? So, in my opinion, God creates a sun and a moon about the same size, puts it right there for us. Just perfect, so that people don't get burnt. It's not too far away. Yes, yeah, so basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is the, the earth is flat, motionless, sun and moon are both close by. They're both about the same size. As crazy as that sounds, it will tie into your religion and what you guys are believing in way more once you figure that out. That a spinning ball in outer space, there's nothing in your Bible that mentions spinning ball, outer space, planets, and duh, duh, duh. aliens and all that shit goes out the window. Like those dots in the sky, stars, planets, they're just dots in the sky that God put up there. They go around in a circle at night. If you look at the stars, your teachers in science class and all that want you to believe that those are suns. They're just dots of light. That's the sun, right? Those other stars, those are just dots of light that go around in a circle at night. Same with the planets. They're just a dot of light. If you look at Mars, it's just a red dot. They want you to believe that if it's a cold desert ball with ice on it. That's all NASA, government, tying back into evolution. So space travel's fake. They lied about going to the moon. The earth is flat and motionless. And I'm not, I'm not screwing with you guys. You guys think I'm crazy right now, but I'm talking to some Mormons. Their Bible says the earth is flat and motionless. It literally says, well, it doesn't say flat, but it says set upon its uh, foundation so it cannot be moved. That one's in the Bible. Set upon its foundation so that it cannot be moved. And in the firmament, 
that there's a firmament above, separating waters above and below. You ever think maybe that's just their ceiling up there? Space doesn't go on forever and ever. There's a firmament right up there. Maybe. So anyway, just wanted to throw that at me. Have you guys ever heard of anyone talking about anything like that before? Yeah. yeah. You have? Mm-hmm. Where? Heck, we walk all over the place. We hear all sorts of stuff. Okay, but what about the, the flat the flat earth? Uh, have you ever heard of anyone talking about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, just wanted to see what you guys thought about that. So you guys think it's a ball in outer space, but that God created the ball in outer space? Is that what you guys think? I mean, everybody has their own opinion. Just wondering. But just, I'm wondering. To me personally, I think that God created it because, I mean. A ball, the, the, so we're on a ball in outer space. Well. This is just my personal belief. Okay. We don't necessarily know if it's a ball or not. But. I, I like that, that you God say created. that. I like that you say that. I know that God created it. Okay, we're both in agreement there. It's created. I just say you can't feel it spin because it doesn't spin. You can't see any curve because there is no curve. Well, curve only exists in pictures on the television screen. As far as your eyes, you'll never see the earth curving. And as far as your senses, you'll never feel it spinning. God created us all with the senses to feel whether the earth spins or not, and it doesn't. So then we have to trust someone else telling us it does. God created us, you know, with the, with the ability to see, well, those of us who have eyes, the ability to see curvature or no curvature. So if we can't see it, then it comes down to trusting some other man who says it's to be so. So the earth spinning, and the earth curving comes down to trusting some other man who says it to be so. Because God puts you here with the senses to know for yourself. It doesn't spin. You can't feel it spin. You can't feel it spin. You can't see the curvature. It's good. It's flat and motionless. Have a good day, gentlemen. And good luck to you. Peace.